days on the strength of seven wins in a row. But Ken McNaught had to limp out of last week's game at Sunderland. His injury has responded to treatment, so Villa are unchanged. McNaught's partnership in defence with Alan Evans has been just as valuable to Villa's drive for the championship as the joint haul of 27 first division goals provided by the attacking partnership of Shaw and Weir. Manager Dave Sexton is under a lot of pressure at Old Trafford, but he too makes no change as he invites this side to end a run of five games without a goal and just one point from a scoreless home draw with Spurs. Badly messed about with injuries, United have used 23 players already this season, and Alberston and Cobble are the only men to have played in every match. The referee, Mr. Darrell Reeves of Uxbridge, gets us away. Aston Villa. Claret and blue jerseys, white shorts, attacking the goal to our right. Manchester United changing into a white jersey uniform this afternoon. Well, that was a poor attempt at a back pass from McElroy. Now it's Bremner for Villa getting tight into the corner. Villa with a lot of support here, of course. Mortimer. First shot on target. Wilkins gliding that off to Jimmy Nichol. Steve Cottle. First test for Gary Williams. And the throw in. And a good touch for Jimmy Rimmer. Swain now, the villain. Getting it deep. Chip in here for Shaw. Cowens. Ball skidding off Buckingham. Villa ball. For with. Mortimer. Touch then for Bremner. Here's Cowens. Morley gets his first touch of the game. Makari up. Mortimer knocks it down for Cowens. Oof. That was a whack then. From behind. Lou Makari free kick just outside the box about what three strides four strides area that we can look for maybe somebody to have a direct poke at goal Mortimer and Cowens discussing what's to be done here Gary Bailey wants four solidly in the wall protecting his right hand post And Cowens tries the shot. Touch from Mortimer. Cowens delayed. Just a tiny touch. Cowens shot. Just sneaking past the post. Touch from Wynn. It's a good one for Mortimer. Off to Morley. Lining up on the back post. He tries the drive. And Bailey had it. Lost it. Fine attempt then. Fine attempt from Tony Morley. Certainly surprised Bailey. They were expecting a ball across the box, but he tries a first timer. Bailey got it, lost it, and was lucky that one of his own men, Alveston, was there to hack it away. Moran. Two draw. That's got to be a foul against McNaught, surely. Nope. So, Swain now. Shaw breaking away from his marker. A little touch for Wynn. Mortimer in the clear. The chip across. Oh, fine bit of work then by Bailey. Because Cowan's very nearly connected with that. There goes Mortimer. Williams. Cowens has called for it. And Swain starts to break on the right. Going against Alveston, looking for the cross. It's a good one. With goal. Beautiful. One nothing. Well, Peter With really made that look easy, and that was not. Kenny Swain. This break on the outside, races past Alberson, a perfectly flighted ball. 
And look at the way that Peter Wythe picked his spot just wide of Bailey's stretching right hand. Lovely goal, Peter Wythe. Aston Villa, 1 0. Goal number 14 this season for Peter Wythe, his 13th in the first division. And that uh, clearly will have a nice, tidy, settling effect on Peter Wythe and his Villa side. Just over 16 minutes gone. Looking to deliver, far post is Jordan. Jordan beat Evans in the air then. Nickel policing him. Mortimer infield calling for it. And Swain wanting it on this side. Now, is he going to have another run and delivery? He's going against Alberston. The chip in and Shaw, surely. Well, Shaw had to be offside, surely. There was no flag. So we can just put that down as a total miss by Gary Shaw. But once again, look at this fellow Swain setting up the chances. Trickles that through. There's Gary Shaw. Had to be offside, surely, but no. And he missed. Morley attacking Nicol. Corner given. Morley was expecting a free kick. At least he got something out of it. Nickel figures it's a goal kick. So we've got Morley, number 11. And Cowens is lurking over in that area as well. Chips it straight in. Win. Oh, what a goal! How did he manage to turn 180 degrees and pop that one in? Peter Wirth is second of the game. 2 0 Aston Villa. And it's all down to the big fella. They didn't get the ball clear, but look at the turn he gets there. Beautiful goal from Peter Weir. 2 0 Aston Villa. So, with uh, 28 minutes of the first half gone, Manchester United are heading for another defeat whilst Aston Villa are heading for their eighth win in a row if they get it that's going to equal the best run ever in the club's history and Peter Wythe's on a hat-trick now Well, Alberston, Bertles, Alberston, Bertles tries it. That's the sort of luck that uh, well, Gary Bertles has had since he left Forest for that enormous one and a half million fee. He goes in for the shot, and rumours equal to it. Swain going after McElroy, pushed him away, free kick. That's the signal for Kevin Moran to release himself from defence and go up to the far post and the signal for Peter Wythe to go back with him. Wilkins chipping it near post. Bertels helps that on. And with puts it behind for the corner. Good job he didn't have a rush of blood to the head at that moment. Figured he was on a hat-trick and put it in the wrong net. And he knew what he was doing. Gives the corner away. It's a good looking cross. Jordan. Cross across the couple. And again. Unlucky for Steve Couple. Two bites of that cherry. And neither of them counted for him. There's the first cross in, and he tries a shot. There's the second one, but he couldn't do anything. Meanwhile, Villa charging back with Mortimer. Shaw, Will, oh. and still the pressure on. Cowens feeds Morley. Little touch along the ground. Oh. And that did take a little deflection away from Bailey. And he was on his hands and knees and not too sure what was going on. 
Morley. Well, I think Bailey must have got his fingers to it. So here's the corner. And Cowens floats it across and Shaw's up. England under 21 striker. Saved by the England under 21 goalkeeper. And Wilkins again on for Jordan. A lone figure up front. Stopped by Evans, of course. Bertles. Jordan. Bertles. Jordan, and that really sold Wilkinson a lot of trouble. Gave Mortimer an easy bite of the ball. Now, couple. Goal kick. Couple running it over the line under the challenge of Tony Morley. So we go into stoppage time now at the end of the first half. We haven't had the trainer on, so there can't be any real hold up. Swain a chance, but uh, referee Reeves points to the tunnel. And Villa fans rise to applaud their team off the park, and particularly. They'll be looking for the number nine, Peter Wirth. Two goal scorer, Peter Wirth, that puts Aston Villa right in the boss seat here against Manchester United. Sends Villa off for a half time cup of tea. For the scoreline that reads Aston Villa two. Manchester United. We're away in the second half. Manchester United attacking the goal in which Aston Villa have scored twice. United six consecutive away defeats uh, gonna be lucky if they get anything out of this game now must have been very much in the boss seat that's Alberston fouled free kick and McElroy will take the corner at uh, the free kick almost as good as a corner it's a corner now. That came off McNaught. And United supporters down that end of the ground. Encouraging their side as much as they possibly can. McElroy with the corner. Macari a touch. Will come to Koppel. Good cross, far post. And there's McElroy. And there's the goal for Joe Jordan. It's 2-1. And the United fans have absolutely risen up out of their seats for that one. They really got a close-up view of it. So that travel down was worthwhile. Couple then. A lovely bit of football. Knocks it far post. And we look for McElroy to get the touch on the far post. And then Jordan, his marker not near him. A touch from Rimmer and a gift for Jordan. So for the first time since they scored at Old Trafford against Birmingham City, United have scored and Joe Jordan's the man that's done it. His eighth goal of the season. Alberston clears. Swain heads forward to Bremner. That's Bertels down for Wilkins. Ship ball to Jordan. Aim for Koppel. Morley and touch back to Williams. Williams could be in a bit of bother here. Preventing the quick throw in taken by to be taken by Coppel. So the ball down to Nickel. Jordan a touch off to McElroy. Good cross in. Fine try, too. Little Emma Kari 
very nearly sneaked in. McElroy did well to get that cross in. Makari hurling himself there, didn't get enough pace on the ball to beat Rimmer. But this suddenly a very different game. And that was Peter With being crushed by uh, Martin Buchan. And Swain with the free kick for Villa. It's Dave Sexton over in the left of the group as we look at United manager. That's Cowan. Oh, what a fine try by Cowan. Good reaction save by Gary Bailey. Two young players with razor sharp reflexes. Cowan's the first timer. Bailey really went across to claw that out of the air. Nickel plays it. Moran being impeded by with Nickel quickly on to Bertles. Back to Koppel. On to Wilkins. And now Koppel again. Getting to the line, looking for the cross. It's a good one, Jordan! Oh, fine goal, Joe Jordan! Equaliser! As good a goal as Joe Jordan has scored ever, I would suspect. And once again, that man, Steve Koppel, set it up. England international gets to the line, gets in behind Aston Villa. Here he comes now. Little jink to the line. Look at the power of Joe Jordan as he came in on this one. Bang! 2-2. Two -two. So, the two number nines have scored the goals that are up on that board. Peter Will, two for Villa. Now Joe Jordan has scored his second for Manchester United. That's Cowens. Now Morley. Morley running at nickel. He's got Koppel there in support. Looking for Peter Wirth. Right into the hands of Bailey. Bailey well positioned as Wirth came in behind Bucken. Right on his near post. And Villa come again through Mortimer. This one in for Shaw. Oh, and that just hung in the air. 3 2, Gary Shaw puts Villa in front. Just got a little toe end to it. And that tantalizingly hung away from Bailey. There's Shaw, and it seemed to hang there, and Bailey just couldn't make it. So Gary Shaw knocks in his 18th goal of the season, and now it's the Holt End's turn to chant and roar for their hero. As Villa go in front, 3 2. Fine way to hit back within what a minute, two minutes of Jordan scoring. Right now, Nick on for Swain. Ball into with Morley's free on the far side. It's Mortimer, he's going to drive one. Dennis Mortimer, Villa skipper. Figured he might be onto something there. A rising shot, it didn't clear the bar by much. Put in for the header forward to Cowens and Nickel sweeps in for United. And Wilkins delivers to Koppel. Koppel, two men around him, little toe poke forward to McElroy. Is Nickel to deliver? Looking for Jordan and Rimmer was there first. Jimmy Rimmer may have hurt his eye in training this week, but uh, there's nothing wrong with his vision this afternoon or his timing. That's with down for Bremner. Taking on Alberston and running him. And getting the cross in, and Shaw! Across the face of the goals. Morley to knock it in again. Looks useful. Shaw! Knocked out by Bucket. Corner. Shaw to take the corner quickly then for Cowens. To Shaw again. Across the face of the goals and a shot from Renault. 
pushed away by Bailey. He must have seen that desperately late. Fine effort by big Ken McNaught. Would have been looking for his first goal of the season, in fact. And he strikes it beautifully well. And Bailey reacted magnificently. McCowan is floating that high to McNaught again. Moran, the pressure coming on him from with. And uh, pressure which gets no support from the referee. Free kick, of course, given. Jordan helps that on. McNaught heads clear. That'll drop down to Koppel. And Bertels gives United fresh hope. Touchdown to Koppel. And again, Koppel trying to get there. And he's pointed to the penalty spot, has referee Reeves. And United have the chance to draw level. No hesitation by referee Reeves. Let's have a look at it again as the ball comes into Koppel. He goes in there. And it's here that Williams is a judge to a foul. So, looks like Sammy McElroy for 3-3. The tension, you could cut this with a knife. Jeffrey Reeves still not sure everybody's outside the penalty box. McElroy. for so long and now they scored three there's the third one from Sammy McElroy five games in a row these United supporters have been supporting their side without a single goal to show for it and here at Aston Villa in the second half alone Manchester United have come from 2-0 down going 3-2 down and now they're back level at 3-3 and that, remarkably, was the result up at Old Trafford earlier this season. And is this going to be a turn-up for the book? Are Aston Villa going to drop a point at home? Evans getting a touch on that. And those saves that Gary Bailey has made earlier in the game, increasing in importance as the time ticks away from this match. the other end of the field. Old Trafford fans are up on their feet and roaring for a side that has given Dave Sexton one of the biggest boosts of his life, I suspect. Villa dropping a point at home. Tommy Kavanagh, a word from Roy McLaren. Oh, what a turn-up for the book. Aston Villa, who looked as though they had it won, 2 nothing at half-time. With Peter Wood's two goals, Joe Jordan striking back early in the second half to level it at 2-2. Gary Shaw putting Villa in front, and then McElroy from the penalty spot in the dying stages of the game. So we've got 3-3 here, just as it was up at Old Trafford earlier this season.